and we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Good morning. It's Tuesday and it's 11 a.m., which means it's time for the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, where we present live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery and feature students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University's Herbert and Nicole Wertheim School of Music and Performing Arts. I'm your host and FIU faculty, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our executive producer, Dr. Karen Velas, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Whether you're listening to us at home, in your car, or live on WDNA.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. Today, we are pleased to feature Miami native Richard Padron on solo electric guitar. Born in Cuba and raised in Miami, Richard Padron is an accomplished guitarist and composer known for his versatility and virtuosity. Richard began playing guitar at the age of 12 as a student at Miami's New World School of the Arts, he also studied clarinet, electric bass, and drums before focusing his studies on guitar performance and composition. None other than Paquito de Rivera has said, Richard Patron writes music in a very particular way using unusual melodic, rhythmic, and harmonic approaches. His guitar playing is compelling, powerful, and passionate. And here is Richard Patron. <laughs>
So I'm in the studio today with guitarist Richard Padron, who is just giving us a little master class on solo guitar. Richard, good morning. Good morning, Russ. So why don't you tell us, uh, our listeners and myself, also a bit about your background, um, how you came to play guitar, all of that. So um, I'm originally from Cuba. I was born in Havana, Cuba, from Gu Guanajuato specifically, uh, Peña Albert. And uh, we immigrated uh, around 88. And I initially was a visual artist, so I had nothing to do with music. I didn't even conceive that I was going to be a musician. And um, the path didn't go in that direction. And I started uh, getting into guitar through the grunge movement at that time in the, in the early mid 90s. And uh, specifically from uh, actually from watching uh, movies like Back to the Future. <laughs> because of Marty McFly and the <laughs> yes. like Eddie Van Halen style, <laughs> right, right. So, so that that kind of brought everything together, and then I got into classical guitar, really heavy, and um, also jazz guitar. So I was uh, kind of getting into everything. I played clarinet, as you as you mentioned, um, and uh, yeah. Who who were some of your biggest influences? Because I'm hearing a lot. I heard a lot of 
jazz sounds. I heard a lot of Brazilian music in there. Uh, biggest influences, I would say, in terms of the guitar, uh, what, what really made me want to start branching off into, into more of, of my Cuban heritage in terms of the, uh, my musical makeup was uh, listening to Jose Angel Navarro, mm -hmm. uh, Cuban, Cuban guitarist, and this record called Miel. And then um, some, another record that really shifted my, my perspective was uh, Transition from Co uh, John Coltrane. Mm -hmm. And also uh, Secrets. Al oh. Alan Holdsworth, right? Right. <laughs> so, so with all that, I started really, uh, uh, started changing my playing. And of course, I mean, Joe Pass, uh, the Ella the and Joe uh, recordings are fantastic. Are fantastic. Yeah, yes. absolutely. They're magic. Yes. So, I mean, you know, uh, obviously Andres Segovia, I mean, the, the list is long, but, but that, that, that gives you uh, a bit of a, a perspective. Also, Lenny Tristano. Mm-hmm. Great blind piano player. Yes. Yeah, some, some, of, some of that type of angular exploration of, of, of harmony and also just the, the technical aspect of it. Right, yes. And you were living in New York for quite a while and yeah, you just moved back. Quite a while, quite a while. 18 years, actually. Yeah, amazing. And yeah, that, that's, that's a place that, that is legendary, right? I mean, everyone, everyone knows New York. And it, it does have a way of just the, the geography, the, the, the outdoors, the, the, the city, upstate, mm -hmm. the Hudson River. It all, it all has a way of the winters, right, the change of seasons. It, it has a way of kind of molding you into, and of course, all the, all the incredible musicians you're around. Right. But, but, but there's a vibrance, there's an energy there that, that I feel that really sets up your, your understanding of a deeper musical plane. Yet you returned just recently to Miami. What, what led to that? Just recently. I'm, I'm just speaking of, of, of my influences, right? Well, of New course, York, yes. The uh, Joe Pass, et cetera. Right. Um, but well, what brought me back is a... Uh, I mean, out of, out of the honest truth, you know, that the shutdown in New York was just too much to bear mm -hmm. for over two, two plus years. And, and I've been trying to go somewhere else. I, 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 almost went, I almost moved to Oslo in 2021. Wow. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have slightly better weather here. I think we could, we could say that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's very different. The, I, I thrive in the sun, you know. Uh, my family's here. I grew mm -hmm. up here. And it just made... It made the most sense also uh, economically just to fall into a scene that's actually that there's work right now as a guitar player and especially as a solo guitar player what are some of the things that stand out as especially playing solo guitar that's different than playing in any other situation yeah well i think uh i mean every 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 guitarist that that endeavors to to play solo guitar and try to make it something that's viable will have a different set of criteria mm -hmm. that they value. Their value system is going to be different. I mean, for me in particular, it could be where I come from, um, uh, my influences, but I, I think that the most important thing is, is, uh, is being able to establish a groove and to have that be absolutely unanimous above all. So everything else is a function of that. Mm. You know, so I, I, I do... I do I would like to have the time to, to develop some kind of elaborate, you know, chordal approach and, and uh, to, to really embellish things harmonically on the guitar, explore, explore that. But I feel that sometimes that comes at the expense of functionality because then you're stuck trying to play all these insane voicings and the, <laughs> and the time is, is just, it's, it's not really, it's, it's, it's not functional, right? right. So, so I try to just stick to simpler um, polyphony but with, obviously, if I'm playing Cuban music or if I'm playing Brazilian music, there's already a, or even swing, there's, a, there's already a rhythmic element built into it that, that can be exploited without much complexity. Very interesting. Now, if somebody was coming up to you and saying, I want to get into playing solo guitar and play jazz guitar, what kind of advice would you offer them? The, so... That's funny you mentioned that because at, at, uh, at Miami Dade Wolfson, I'm, I'm actually going over this specific process with a few of the students at the moment. Um, so I, 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 
I really like the Mel Bay complete guitar method. I use that. And in there, there's an there's a amazing grace. Everyone knows amazing grace. So the assignment is essentially to play the bass note and the melody independently at the same time without any, any chords. Hmm. And so essentially being able to play a bass voice and some, some kind of uh, melodic voice on top. And that's, that, that, I would say, sets the foundation because once you have that, already the, the, me the melody is creating harmony against the bass note no matter what. So the chord is already being addressed, uh, especially if it's a well-known tune. So then mm -hmm. if you just throw in an open string here, picking a key that, that works, or you just throw in, sprinkle in the harmony instead of you know, smothering the harmony all over the place, I think it, it, it's more effective because it, the melody, first of all, is, is at the forefront. And then you're able to build orchestrally at a, at a greater degree instead of just you know, having the, the orchestration be kind of the same or with the same articulation. That, that's, the, that's another thing that that I would say explore different, different kinds of articulations, not, not just um, you know, this, this kind of um, you know, where everything is a downstroke, you know, mm -hmm. or they play the bass on a downstroke. I would, I would say include some fingers, I mean, and then reserve the pick for something else where it would sound more pronounced instead of having everything be with the same pick articulation. Wow, fantastic. And for our listeners, how can they find out more about you on, online? How can they follow you on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, anything else? Yes, um, I, I'm, I need to get my social media game on point. But, but yes, you can find me on YouTube. It's Richard Padron Guitar, if you type that in. I have a bunch of, uh, actually I have an instructional video up there that I just put up. And um, uh, Instagram is Padron Music. And then Facebook, I suppose, just Richard Padrone okay. guitar. <laughs> All right. And speaking of guitar, um, what are we going to hear next? What are we going to hear next? That's a surprise to me as well. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Richard Padrone, solo guitar.
to a live performance in the WDNA Jazz Gallery of Miami Native, Richard Patron, here on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. Please stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. There are a lot of ways to build a strong body. And for the residents of Miami-Dade, getting your COVID-19 vaccination is an important part. Help everyone stay safe as we continue to fight the spread and we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. This week, Florida International University's Herbert and Nicole Wertheim School of Music and Performing Arts presents the following exciting concerts. Starting tonight at 7.30 p.m. in the Wertheim Concert Hall, the FIU Music Festival 2022 Jazz Party Kickoff with Delfeo Marsalis, Grammy Award-winning trombonist Delfeo Marsalis of the legendary Marsalis clan, is opening the FIU Music Festival for a jazz party not to be missed. He will join our very own FIU Faculty Jazz Quartet and FIU Jazz Big Band for a party like no other. He is known for his technical excellence, inventive mind, and frequent touches of humor. On Friday, October 28th at 7.30 p.m. at Comber Hall at the Church of the Little Flower, it's opera gala concert with the Santa Fe Opera Stars. Santa Fe and Miami musicians will sweep you off your feet with an evening of Italian opera composers. The Wertheim School of Music and Performing Arts is proud to partner with the famed national number one summer, uh, summer opera festival in the country, the Santa Fe Opera, in an opera concert gala evening at Comer Hall in Coral Gables for an enchanting evening of opera and hors d'oeuvres. Love bel canto? Come celebrate some of the most Italian famous operas and arias from Rossini to Bellini along with courses from Donizetti and Verdi. Accompanied by the FIU Chamber Orchestra, led by Professor Dr. Javier Jose Mendoza. On Saturday, October 29th at 7.30 p.m. in the Wertheim Concert Hall, FI Music Festival 2022 continues with Of Angels and Devils, Kaufman and Stravinsky. This special evening features two emotional works by composers Frederick Kaufman, who wrote Jacob's, Jacob's Wrestling with the Angel, and Igor Stravinsky, L'Histoire du Soldat, that takes us on a journey in which we must face our angels and demons, leading to an inevitable state of grace or downfall. Frederick Kaufman's Jacob Wrestling with the Angel is a work for cello and viola based on the biblical story of Jacob and his desire to be blessed. A Florida premiere. Igor Stravinsky's L'Histoire du Soldat is regarded as one of the most important and influential chamber works of the early 20th century a demanding score meant to be read, played, and danced by actors, dancers, and accompanied by a septet of instruments. It tells the, the tale of a soldier on leave from the army who trades his old violin for a magic book that can tell the future and makes him rich. And also on Saturday, October 23rd at 2 p.m. in the Wertheim Concert Hall with FIU Music Festival 2022, organ virtuoso, Alcy Chris III. First prize and Bach Prize winner at the 2017 Canadian International Organ Competition, Dr. Alcy Chris III is widely regarded as one of the leading young organists of our time. Previous competition awards for him include the Furman Swinon Silver Medal at the 2016 Longwood Gardens International Organ Competition, first prize and audience prize at the 2016 Fort Wayne National Organ Competition, and first prize and audience prize at the 2014 Miami International Organ Competition. For these and many more exciting events, go to fiu.universitytickets.com. 
And now, back to our show with Richard Padron.
been listening to Richard Padron on solo electric guitar on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I've been your faculty host, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and along with our executive producer, I'm sorry, our executive producer, Dr. Karen Velos, I'd like to thank our crew of FIU graduate students, Josephine V, Jerry, Rudy, and Christian, WDNA sound and tech wizard, Alex Audrich, and the staff of WDNA 88.9 FM for today's broadcast. If you would like more information on all our programs, make sure to call 305-348-2896, or you can like our Facebook and or Instagram page to stay up to date with all our upcoming performances. Thank you so much for joining us, and make sure to join the FIU Music Hour for more great music every Tuesday, 11 a.m. to noon. Thanks again to our guest. And Richard, do you have anything special you want to play for us, or are you going to uh, keep us guessing? Um, I'm thinking of doing Satin Doll. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Richard Padron again, everyone. I've also been guessing, just, just so you know. <laughs> Stage, I heard uh, Wave, I heard a number of other tunes. I should have printed out my set list. Nah, that's fine. You're good. 